haven't I brushed my teeth before praying to you? Or have I not taken my bath? Do I need to potato? Am I not human beings? Am I not your daughter? Are you disciplined? What part of your life do you find it difficult to organize yourself in times of being a disciplined person? Do you want to become a disciplined person? Start today, okay guys? Start today. Hi, my beautiful people. Welcome and welcome back again to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and you're doing great, guys. So guys, self-discipline is an incredibly important trial to form to cultivate and continuously work on to improve ourselves and improve our life. Becoming a disciplined person is a life changing. Self-discipline can help you to improve every aspect of your life, beginning from the daily tasks, um, our daily tasks to the long-term goals we have set. Improving your self-discipline can help your career, help you physically, mentally, and to help you achieve that dream goals you want to achieve so that's why it's important to be a, a, a disciplined person that's why in today's video i'm going to share with you i'm going to discuss with you guys five ways on how to improve your self-discipline or how to improve or master self-discipline to become a disciplined person so without wasting much of your time let's go to the video guys why do we need to be a disciplined person this a, becoming a disciplined person self-discipline help you help to better quality of life help to set boundaries help to set a goals a goals that you can get i'm not talking about discipline in one aspect no i'm talking about discipline in all aspects be it a relationship friendship marriage life parenting every aspect you need to be a disciplined person yes guys a disciplined person help you have to take responsible for your actions you have to be a better uh, person to direct your goals to direct you all right guys the first one is to find the area that needs to be improved yeah you heard me the one the first thing and the one of the most important thing on working on self discipline self discipline is to identify those areas that you think that needs improvement what aspect of self discipline are your weakest point identify those things grab your pen you know them grab your pen start writing start jotting down the, those areas line to yourself be honest to yourself guys be honest to yourself because lying to yourself will not help you to achieve the goal of improvement do you spend so much time on social media do you are uh, struggling on focusing or you find it hard to on um, say no to others they are probably something that comes to your mind whenever you think about self-discipline on how to improve it. So the first thing you to do is to write down those areas that you think, identifying them with those areas you think that will help you in self-discipline. Like being a parent, I set boundaries for my kids. Um, Eight o'clock, no more scream. Nine o'clock, no more scream. Bedtime. So in relationship also, say no to things that are not you're not comfortable to. Identify those things that you think that you need to discipline yourself in. That is the first point, first strategy to improve self-discipline. Now, the next thing is determine what motivates you. You know, happiness and success is the goal. I know money is also important, but doing what you love, doing what import, uh, that motivates you to get up and do it, also help you to be a disciplined person. Like working around the things, you, your daily habits, making it to be your habit, making it to be motivate you like you love creating content and what motivates you it, it might be the money <laughs> it can be it might be the life you display or you you love being doing something what motivates you what motivates you that keep you going that help you to reach to that success it's the next thing you need to do find that thing that motivates you whenever you you want to start something it's maybe your career maybe your your job maybe your kids your family anything that motivates you to keep things on track find that thing and 
keep on working on it. Being a um, uh, peace, happiness, and success is the goal. So prioritize that. Prioritize your happiness. Prioritize your success. This also will help you to be a self-disciplined person. Do what you love. You know, when you do what something you love doing, maybe it can be your job. It can be your relationship. You like hanging out to your friend, or you like eating it out in a restaurant that you you like. You like a particular food. Something that help you, that you love, that you enjoy doing, that motivates you. And when you do it, you find happiness. When you do it, you find peace of mind. That is another thing. So it's another way to help you be a self-disciplined person. Oh, guys, this third one is one of the important ones. In fact, it's one of the uh, uh, good ones on how to improve your self-esteem. Gosh, it's distraction limit or eliminate distraction and temptation sis bro whosoever that is listening guys don't let the pressures of life get to you don't let the distractions of life get to you and i i know it is it's easily said it's easily said than being done if if you get that word because i know we are all humans and we are imperfect humans nothing is perfect but guys don't let the pressures don't let the uh, 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 distractions of people of things get to you i'll give you an example of what i'm tr i'm trying to say distractions and temptations are sometimes uh, everyone are something that every one of us fall into on daily basis but however realistically how we deal with these temptations or how we minimize it in our life get help us to be a disciplined person okay guys we start with whom let's say whom what whom are people who those who are in your life who distract you who don't add value to yourself and also to you if you know you're not adding value to yourself what to people what are you still doing with those people those people you have those things that are distraction or things that you may, may be doing that are irrelevant to you that are don't add value to you check all those things what are they doing you have to do the things that are value to you like um I know being uh, eliminating distractions and limitations is it's not um, uh, easy. It's it's not easy because of the pressures of life and I I know like in relationship. If you're not ready for any relationship, sis, don't go, bro, don't go. If you're not ready for uh, marriage, I'm just using this uh, example because. African mentalities has made it like once you're clocking 25 or 20, oh, it's be like you're having a gray hair on yourself and you're not doing, you're not yet married and your life is over. Guys, please, or bro, whosoever it is, don't let these pressures or, or, or mentality get to you. Do it at your own pace. Do it when you're ready. Be a self-disciplined person. Don't let the distractions of people. Oh, okay. That uh, we're in an era of social media where things are flashy. Everything may be fake, may be real. You do. You can't even dis discriminate which one is real and which one is fake. Even some friendship are falling apart and all those stuffs. We don't know. There are lots of distractions. I am just picking these ones out, guys. Don't think that your life are over. Maybe you're seeing your friends walking through this. I'm also talking to myself because sometimes I'll feel like, oh God, am I not doing enough? Am I not praying enough? Oh, haven't I brushed my teeth before praying to you? Or oh, have I not taken my bath? Do I need to? I'm just saying all these things. Like, am I a potato? Am I not human beings? Am I not your daughter? Like I'm talking to God like this because of the, the, the distractions of everything. When you see people going the right way and yours are not going the right way, you begin to think, oh, I, I'm not good enough. I'm not working enough. You let that pressure enter you. You let that thing get to you. And these things are distracting you, are temptation, are kind of the temptation that are going your way. So I want, just want to encourage you that, no, you go at your own pace. Don't let the pressures of life get to you if you're getting what I mean. So eliminate temptations. 
realistically i know it is not easy it is easily said and being done like i said it's not easy but working towards eliminating these temptations working towards limiting these temptations and distractions help you to become a self-disciplined person yeah it will help you and another thing is allow god have his way allow god to have you you have prayed enough just be patient and allow god have his way don't be tempted don't be don't put the pressures of life in you actions i know this is a very important one in order to be a self-disciplined person as i'm talking to you guys i'm also talking to myself so so guys i hope you get my point that's the third point step to improve your self-discipline is to work on what you do like set a goal for yourself focus on what you want to achieve like that that's the ne next step because uh, like you can start from a daily goal weekly goal monthly goal once you have a goal in mind it will help to keep you in track to um it will help you to be focused and committed in setting those goals setting a daily goals help us improve ourselves it's helped to improve ourselves and become and help us to become a self-disciplined person so set a goal that are realistic like you can start from the smaller goals setting from the smaller goals daily goals weekly goals like i said daily go um start from the small ones when you start from the small ones it will help and you achieve it it will help you to be uh, motivated it will give you the the zeal to keep on going higher and higher but when you start from these larger goals it will demotivate you it will not give help you to go higher so start from the the little ones uh if you, you can't start from uh, one then you jump to 20 so it's it have to be gradually step by step start from the little goals you have set a daily goals then you go to weekly goals the monthly goals and yearly goals like that it will help you to be focused it will help you to be committed and it also directs you to the track which you are planning of becoming the self-disciplined person so it they always said set a goal set a goal dream big dream big remember not to set a realistic goals a realistic goals in that way you'll be demotivated so my next step is to set a goals and work towards that goal in order to become a self-disciplined person all right guys the final step but an incredibly important step in improving your self-discipline is to take everything above and start putting them into a habit cultivate the habit focus on focusing it as a habit it can be a weekly habit monthly habit day to day uh, yearly habit start today and you know it takes time and effort it can becoming a self-disciplined person does not just happen overnight even i as i'm speaking to you i'm still working to improve myself because this becoming a self-disciplined person or improving your life it it it's great for an improvement and you get what i mean there is always a room for improvement and uh, what you do take a month start practicing the above and at the beginning of the next month be honest with yourself uh, be honest with yourself by seeing if you put much time, much effort, or you're committed in improving your self-disciplined life. So, be committed and turn this into a habit. So, that's the final step, guys. I think I'm talking so fast. That is the final step, guys. Be uh, putting it into practice. Putting it into practice. Uh, as Like I said, I'm still putting my into practice and i'm still improving there is always room for improvement all right guys share with me in the comment section your thoughts about discipline uh i just want to have a chit chat uh, with you guys in the comment section share with me your thoughts about self-discipline or discipline overall are you disciplined do you want to be a disciplined person or do you want to, are you um we want to be a, an organized person as being a disciplined person sis bro or whosoever it is start today okay you heard me start today thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to give me thumbs up give me thumbs up guys it will help this video to move forward to who 
a larger audience than needed. And if you're first time stopping by, my name is Linda Chineye. Please do well to smash the red button. Subscribe to our channel. Okay, guys, subscribe, subscribe now. I'm watching you. Subscribe, okay? Remember to turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. And I'll see you all in my next video. So till then, have a lovely day. Blessings. Life is full of blessings. Thank God for his mercy.